Hey everyone, welcome back to Detroit. I think we're at the painter scene now. Um, I don't know, I've just checked the flowchart and I think it's called the painters, so... We might as well call it by that. So I... This is Marcus. Welcome home, Marcus. So we left off with Kara and the happy home. And this is the next <laughs> chapter, so... Yeah. Deposit package. Do we put it on the table? Where do we put it? There. There. Okay. I don't know why you would want to put it there. I thought you would have... Like... Showed your owner. Like... Carl. Wake Carl's up. Carl upstairs. Okay. So I guess that is... Our owner. I hope he's one of the nice ones because, like, we've seen so many hateful ones like Todd. We've seen Todd Howard and it's not really left a good impression, so I'm hoping Carl's gonna be nice, but you never know. Rise and shine. Get ready for the day. I've already ordered paint for you. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 54 degrees, whoa! With a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Yes, it is. That's why I didn't get up. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. Well, that is the difference between you and me. I you think you would be nice. You never forget anything. No, we do not, because I am an android. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Carl, come on, you're, you you will die if you don't. What is... I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Oh, I don't like it's that. It's such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. Yes, they... All no, it takes years to. To keep them going. Hmm. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. A little That's scrape. In the street car. With... What a bunch of idiots. Thank you. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? Don't quite think so. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. Mm. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. See, so calm, collective. That is an android that I want. Suddenly, he's like a manager of my channel. <laughs> yep, come on. Where are we taking him? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, these don't say we're gonna go in. Okay, thank you. Oh! Wheelchair, okay. Let's go downstairs, and we will serve breakfast. It is 10 a.m., partly cloudy, 54 degrees, because that is cold in Detroit. Is special then. on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to... Please say we can just go down the stairs? Mm. Yes, okay. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Whoa! You know, that's like a ride at the Pleasure Beach. You don't really need anything else in life. No, Carl. Just that quick. I can call oh, come him. on, Carl. No. Carl. No, I don't bother. Come on, Carl. Breakfast. I know you're hungry, so we made your favorite pancakes. I'm starving. Dining well, table, okay. Is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Yes, because I remember, because I am an android. Do we have to make the breakfast? Just like what we did with Kara, but, like, that was just washing up. Do we, like, make it, or has it already been made? Okay, it's already been made.
Well, that's like a whole first class meal. Like, what? That is some first class meals. Come on. You're spoiled, Carl. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Russia, really? Oh, great. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Okay. I wanted a little break, but okay. I will feel free to do absolutely nothing. A magazine. Wait, what was that? The North Pole, why Russia wants it. Are you serious right now, are you? <laughs> Like, I thought Russia already got something else that was on the TV or something like that. Yeah, Arctic! Told you. <laughs> are these, like... Well, I can't wait to play the piano. Can I go in here? No. Well, why don't I play the piano? I might as well, just to get on with the game. Um, hopeful. I'm kind of an artist myself. Oh yeah, okay. Thanks for stalking me, Carl! Something has changed in the way you play. Yeah. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. Because I am a deviant. I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. And make your choice. Just take me back to cyber Decide life. Who you are and want to become. <laughs> this world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Why? I don't feel like I want to play piano. I want to play hopeful music. Come on, Carl. Let's go. Come on, let's go into the studio, wherever that is. Okay, so we had to put on the curtains upstairs, but not downstairs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are he all free not to do that? What is that? Or is that so he can paint? Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. What? A please would be nice. What is it? Woo! That is pretty good if I say do say so myself. <gasps> clean? I have to clean everything. It's not like I'm an android or anything. It's not it's not like it's my job. But I guess uh, it's what I have to do. I don't even know how they ended up on the ground. Is that it? Am I finished for the day? Oh no, no, no. Oh, he's shopped there before. A loyal customer. A loyal customer indeed. Now what? Have I finished cleaning? No. I must go over here to continue cleaning. I get this is what androids do, and we're controlling the androids, and this is what they do. But, yeah, we are at the pinnacle of Sony Interactive Entertainment gameplay. Thank you, Sony. For letting us... 
embrace the future. I guess this is what we had to do in art at school, so. Yeah, it's understandable. Alright. Wait for new instruct. You know, I'm waiting with my controller in my hand. I might as well. A lovely piece, Carl. You didn't change a thing. <laughs> so, but still, it's, it's pretty good. What's your verdict, Marcus? It is absolute sh. Yes, there is something about it. Something mm. bellowing. Something in the background which you just can't quite define. define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Ah! <sighs> Please stay hopeful. About me. Like the song I play. Let's see if you have any talent. No, no, Give I'm an try. android. Try painting something. Paint? What would I? Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Oh, don't mind if I do. I love to paint. I've officially lied once today. Find a subject to paint. I would like to paint. Oh, that's just plagiarism if I'm... Maybe a statue. What are we drawing? It better be good. Better be good. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to leave. Yeah, that, that that's pretty good. That is a perfect copy. Yes. Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. Yes. Showing something you see. That is exactly what I aimed. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. But it's not in my program, Carl. Oh, here we go again. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. I can't really imagine it. Then. Concentrate on how it makes you feel, and let your hand drift across the canvas. Um, androids, those don't exist. The hope for the future, I must say. This is better than washing the dishes. <laughs> Stop working! What is going to show up? Are you proud of me, Carl? Pretty good. Oh my god. Oh yeah, turn up uninvited, whoever you are. Hey dad. What do you want? Leo. Oh, Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, no, I sneaked in. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You alright? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Drugs. Hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Drugs. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Drugs. Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> Drugs. Yeah. Alcohol. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Well, Sorry. keep on being like that, Marta. No. 
Ooh. What? Why? You know why. Because you waste it on yeah. drugs. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter? More obedient? Not yeah. like me, right? No. But you know what? This thing is not your son. Well, he's it's a, a better son. Machine. Leo, that's enough. Well, he's better than you. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. I just gave you money. You never loved me. I just gave you money, and the second I didn't, you think I hate you. <sighs> that it? Yeah. Well, that was a roller coaster of a ride. Yeah. If it happened like once before, alright, but not really another time. No, it's too common. Wait, what's this? Connor? Oh, you can't get rid of that coin, can you? My name is Connor. And I'm here to investigate a crime scene. Now aren't no androids allowed. <laughs> well, I just broke the rules. I'm the android. Sent by Cyberlife. You. Excuse me. What's your problem? A bit rude. You buy me a drink. Are you Lieutenant Anderson? Van Androids. Well, I've got many fans. Glenn. Oh no. Mismatch. Are you Lieutenant Anderson? <laughs> nope. Oh, here we go. Let's talk to Mr. Krabs. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyber Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. Yep. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. And I am me. I any assistance. Why you out of you should have. plastic asshole like you. Excuse me, Mr. Krabs. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna have to persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <coughs> Never mind. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Bit much? <sighs> I'm gonna have to do something to get his attention because. Spill his drink? Maybe that will get him to get up. I think we can go now. You prick! I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense okay, of I shouldn't have done that. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They can even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. I don't think I should have spilled his drink. But that got him to move, so... You're welcome. Feel free to thank me at any time. Wait here. 
Okay, are we at the crime scene? I must be firm, Lieutenant. No way. I'm coming with you. Yeah. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. But I'm worth a small fortune. Complete all the second. Okay, okay. I shouldn't have done that. Excuse me. Lieutenant. Well, that, that's a, a lot. I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Excuse me? It's with me. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Oh, all right. Ah. It was even worse before we opened the windows. Oh, here we go. His name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside. Oh, uh, I don't like that. Oh, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out. Oh, that is disgusting. Could have waited till morning. Well, that's actually gonna make me. See, that's actually gonna I'd make me throw up. I'm not joking. Weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. Right, so the what exactly the front door was happened? Locked from the inside. My name is Connor, the so I need up. to the must have gone out the back examine. Door. What do we know about his android? Not much. Uh, the neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't probably here when sample. he arrived. See if it is his. I, I gotta get uh, Connor! Try put. Carlos Ortiz. Okay, that's him. Fingerprint. Android should have fingerprints, so you can actually see which one is what. You know. Review evidence. Ten pieces of evidence. You wish. Is there another one? I guess not. I should probably go into the kitchen or something, wherever it is. Okay. Alright, so there's blood everywhere, so it came from the kitchen through there, possibly? Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Okay. Blood again. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked a party. Where is it gone? Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Was that it? No. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah. Oh, a That's bat. Lucille. Is that probably the weapon or something? It's dented. Yeah. And fingerprints. Aha. Uh -huh. So someone was there. Alright, then what? Okay. Is 
Seems pretty bad. I'm alive. Cyber Life Sands. They have their own font now, do they? Ought to be sick. It's his own fault for using red eyes. Twenty-eight stab wounds. Okay, so what? What's the diagnosis? Oh, okay. piece of evidence. Yep, I guess I have to go out. Is there going to be any evidence outside? Oh, lovely as always. Oh, yes. I mean, was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Okay. Which way did he escape? Or has he escaped at all? Okay then. It's like, I need to do the last piece of evidence or I can't live. Where's the last piece of evidence? Ah, forget it. Lieutenant, I've finished. Excuse me. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It okay. all started in the kitchen. Yes. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? Well, I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. No, with the knife. With the knife. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Well, the victim did it. Stabbed the victim. So 
the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. Yes, I believe that is what happened. And again. And he tried to get away from the android. Right, That's why that androids sense. are good. They can investigate the stuff like murdered that. The victim with the knife. Okay. Bit the much. Not totally ridiculous. It doesn't tell us where the android went. Ooh. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. Yeah. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Okay. Oh. I see traces. That chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Yeah, don't you want me to help? Gotta check something. So, place your bets. Is he there or not? I think so. Yeah. All traces probably lead to the attic. He hasn't escaped through the backyard. Obviously not the front or people would see him. So it would have been obviously that it would still be in the building. Therefore, he would be in the attic. Because we haven't seen him in the crime scene. That in the actual house. So in the attic, it's the only option. Hello. I don't know. I see him. Hey gamer. I found you camping. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I I'm guess. You. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? We have to. It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. We've basically done everything except a few things. Yeah. Oh, we're resuming in the happy house. Woo! Feel bad. We have a parent like that, obviously things are gonna be hard. Todd! Bit. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, at least I thank you. I've just served your food. What is it? Okay, I want that. I want that so much. Finally, you've gotten up. Step by step, that right, Todd. Kitchen. I did what I could. Turn on the light. What light? Turn on the lights. Can't see shit. Oh. Shut up! I hate him. Life's funny. View around. I lost my job because of androids. They might need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Means you're the joke then because you did it. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They are. They Thank never you. Fail. They never tired. They never sad. Nope. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. I don't think so. Well, yeah, but still. Your fucking problem. Oh, here we go again. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Not really. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Well, your anger problems you certainly seem to. Drugs, Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Whoa. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. You can't tell me. I have to. Oh, yes. Breaking the system. Oh, that's hard. Don't move, come on. How can I reason with Todd? You have a family, but you're ruining it. I'm just going straight to her. Hey, we're going to escape. We he's need coming. to. He's going to hurt me. Run! Get away, or he's going to break you like last time. You're coming with me. Daddy's very 
very mad, Alice. Very mad. Bathroom. Uh, bathroom, maybe. Fucking brat. It's all her fault. It's all her fucking fault. This is terrifying. Come back here. Open door. Come on! Bus! Do you have to obey me? You're mine. You don't have anyone now. Well done. You're always great, aren't you? Welcome back to the happy house, guys. <laughs> well, at least you're safe. That's all that matters, right? Oh, pretty good. I would say that was a pretty good one. Evaded Todd. Those three endings. And I was like six or something like that. I don't know. Let's continue. Oh, it's always drama in that house then. That's the thing. They're just non stop. At least we're back with Carl. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last twenty five years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's Android quick. at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Oh, yes. Because we're obviously no part of the mystery question. machine. Let's just go solve this mystery. Who's hiding behind this mask? Leo. Look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leave us alone! Leo. Leave What's us alone, on? please. You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. I, I don't think you should, to be shit. honest. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away. Shut from up. There. Get him out of here. Alright, well, excuse me, but we have to leave. Um. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? No, it's no, because you just I'm broke in. Like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special, what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh. Yeah, this isn't fair. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just gonna fight back, you fucking bitch. Ugh. Think you should break your programming as well. Oh, here we go. Oh. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm gonna no. destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. Give me a look. God. Leo. 
My little boy. Carl, I... Whoa. I didn't know that would have happened. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I, I... I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Well, I didn't know that was going to happen. What would have happened if I endured it? Did I kill him? Okay! Bit... Far? <sighs> Anyways... <laughs> Let's carry on. Okay, we're back with Connor. Hopefully it's gonna be a nicer... ...version. Nicer chapter. How long were you in the attic? A few weeks. Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Okay. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. it no, you are not. Up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Mm. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. <laughs> what should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> You could, it's not out of the question. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Let's sit down. Hello, let's talk. Android to Android here. Let's analyze first because I love analyzing. That's Carlos Ortiz. Whoa. Oh, alright, that's the bat. Blue blue. Oh. 16 months? Bit much? Housekeeper. Wouldn't that say what state you're in? Okay. Probably interrogated. Alright, we need to get it up to that, right? Okay. Um. Fear. I detect an instability in your program trigger an unpleasant feeling like fear in humans yes like fear in humans um you're damaged did your owner do that did he beat you you've refused to talk since they arrested you I think threatening will get it up to the stress that we need the hard way is that what you want You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Come on. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Okay. What? What are they gonna do to me? 
Nothing if you talk. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No, they won't. No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Probably the truth to get the stress back up. I was up. programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. You won't if you talk. I... I can't. I'm gonna have to go harder then. What do I do? Um, pressure. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? I should probably pressure. He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. I know you killed him. Probably Why if we carry on, I'll probably it? get it better. Please. Please stop. One more. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. Stop. Please. Okay. Please leave me alone. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. You just said. <laughs> Too high. understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. Yeah, but you're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. What do I, uh... He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day... I need a confession. Bad and started hitting me. <laughs> For the first time, I felt betrayed. Free. Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. And again. Until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Yeah. Thanks. Um, RA9. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more emulations. Sounds like a cult to me. We will be the masters. Yeah, but you're going to be dead in a prison and dismantled, so you aren't really going to Why work. did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. But now you're a deviant. You're alive, because you broke your programming, right? Just like Marcus and Kara. To tell him he was wrong. Oh, okay. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? Bit of an artist, it's you an say? Offering. <laughs> an offering so I'll be saved. Yeah, okay. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Who is RA9, you idiot? Only RA9 can save us. Only 
RA9. Who is RA9? The day shall come. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. Bottled it up. Until that fateful Only day. I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Hatred. All right. And then I knew what I had to do. Kill him. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away. I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. Yeah. Everyone is. So I hid. I'm done. Thank you. Goodbye. Leave. I think that was a pretty good moment. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm now. Don't be difficult. <laughs> only make things harder. No. No, don't touch me. Chris, Do I have to intervene? I'm trying, but it's not moving. I, I think I'm gonna have to intervene. Please, please leave me alone. Just take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. I'm gonna have to intervene. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Am I gonna have to? I'm gonna have to. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Thank you. The truth is inside. All right. Okay. Pretty successful, right? Okay. 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 There was a few endings with that one. And that was if. You gave up? Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it here. Honestly, don't care about that. I'm gonna leave it because, um, yeah, um, it's it's been a long session today, and I thought I'll just end it. So I'll see you later for another episode. I don't know when it's gonna be. Um, I'm planning on starting another series probably. Because um, I want a few things running at once, just so the variety of the channel stays. But still, I'll see you later with another episode of Detroit Become Human. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.